but if you would, please hold that applause until we have introduced all of them. Our platinum sponsor and our media sponsor, the Charlotte Sun. Our gold sponsors are Clear Channel Broadcasting, Harbor Style Magazine, and Palm Automotive. Our silver sponsors are the Far Law Firm, Florida Power and Light, and Froelich, Gordon, and Beeson. Our bronze sponsors include Fawcett Memorial Hospital, Mosaic, Webb Laura and Company, Panther Hollow Dental Lodge, Charlotte Regional Medical Center, Peace River Medical Center. And also our copper sponsors include Nolan Family Insurance, Centennial Bank, Calusa Bank, the Watitsky Law Firm, Marketing Arm International, and Monarch Printing. If you would, please show your appreciation. And I also want to thank everyone that sponsored the table tonight and for every one of you ticket holders here. Because of your success, um, your generosity, many deserving people will benefit from tonight. I want you to enjoy the concert tonight, have fun with your friends, enjoy your drink, enjoy your food, enjoy our unique program that we have for you tonight, and enjoy dancing. And tomorrow morning when you wake up and you think, boy, we had a wonderful time last night, didn't we? I want you to also think that your contribution tonight will help deserving Charlotte County students with higher education and what it will do for them and their families. Thank you so much. And in these 17 concerts, we've had only one uh, MC, so I present to you the chairman of the foundation board, our one and only Court Froley. Thank you, Ellen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I need to say a few words about uh, the chairperson of our committee that put this evening together. Those of, the, of you that know Ellen, and most of you do, I think, uh, would agree with me that she really is a force of nature. And uh, she has, I think, uh, run the show here for three years now. Uh, and we're gonna continue to ask her to run the show for as long as she's willing to do so. She's brought, we have so many of our old friends here tonight that have supported us all 17 years, but I am incredibly encouraged to see so many new friends here, people that haven't been here before, sponsors that we haven't had before, tables filled by people that are coming here for the first time, and that's all due, in my judgment, to the uh, incredible energy and efforts of Ellen Webb. And I want you to join me in thanking Ellen for everything she did to make this evening possible. It has been 17 years that we have been gathering as a community here on this beautiful campus under the stars to celebrate the arts and to demonstrate our support for this wonderful college. And as Ellen pointed out, this process, this event, which has become such a part of the fabric of our community, began 17 years ago as the idea of one woman. And Ellen already mentioned her, and I know she gets mad at me when I ask her every year to stand and be recognized, but it's totally appropriate. We would not be here tonight. That $600,000 would not have been raised but for Ann Gatiff. Ann, please stand and be recognized by a community that holds you in the highest esteem. And supporting Ann all the way from the very beginning. Supporting Ann all the way from the very beginning as they have for the entire 17 years was the Charlotte son and Derek Dunrank. And Derek's not with us tonight, but his sons David and Jeff are with us. Please thank the Charlotte son for making this event possible. Because of the support that you have uh, demonstrated, as Ellen pointed out, no financial need on this campus goes uh, unmet. Uh, and as many of you know, this is a very special year for Edison State College. It is our 50th anniversary, 50 years. The doors opened in 1962. At the same time, 
a band was forming in Liverpool, England. And they are celebrating their 50th birthday as well. And we thought, well, what better way to celebrate our birthday than to have the Beatles join us to celebrate their birthday as well. And that's what we're going to be doing here on the stage uh, tonight. How many of you, and be honest, how many of you are old enough to remember 8 p.m. on February 9th, 1964? Raise your hands. Exactly. You remember, you remember that night and those of you that aren't old enough have seen the clips of the Ed Sullivan Show. The entire country, the entire country tuned in to CBS and the Ed Sullivan Show that Sunday night. President Kennedy had been assassinated 77 days before that evening. And America needed a lift. America needed a diversion. America needed to smile again. And we finally began smiling again that night when Ed Sullivan brought those four young men from Liverpool onto the stage. There were 50,000 requests for tickets. There were only 700 tickets available. And it was an event that if you were alive and were watching TV, it's, it's one of those seminal events that you still remember. You can still know exactly, as I've discussed with several of you tonight, what you were doing that night, who you were sitting with, whether your parents made you go to bed early and wouldn't let you watch, or whether you had to sneak around the corner to see the Beatles. Well, tonight, in just a few moments, we're going to take you back to that magical night in the Ed Sullivan's Theater in New York, New York. So get ready. Before we do so, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the president of the Charlotte County campus of Edison State College. I want to say this to you. This wonderful woman is beloved on this campus. She is loved by the faculty and students equally. She carries herself at all times under the most difficult circumstances, and you all know that she's had a tough year with grace and with dignity and with courage. She is, at all times, an incredible ambassador for Edison State College. And in my judgment, and I know you share my judgment, she embodies the very best in higher education. We are blessed to have as president of the Charlotte County campus, my friend, Dr. Pat Lamb. Thank you, Court. Good evening, Charlotte County. How are you? Oh, you can do better than that. My new boss is here. Come on, how are you? Great. I am so glad that you gave up a night at home, even if your favorite football team was playing. You're missing the commercials on TV about the upcoming election, and just know when you get home, you'll have 87 missed calls from robocalling on your phone. I appreciate you all being here tonight, and oh, wait a minute. I'm Pat Land, and I approve this message. <laughs> if you have ever taken an Edison class, been on campus for a program, had a kid or a friend who's been at Edison, would you just give a shout out so we'll know how many of you are in the crowd? Thank you. Your opportunity tonight is to help our students that are volunteering uh, with us tonight. Our students need your support more than ever. It is a very tough time. We have students who are using all the financial aid that they can get their hands on. It's not enough. And we have students who are hungry and are struggling to get gas money. So please continue to help. If you're a guest at a table tonight, feel free to give me a check or some cash and we'll put it in our scholarship fund. We continue to need your help. Before I get off the stage, I want to thank our foundation board, Court Froelich and Ellen Webb, and the other members of our board for their hard work. I want to thank our members of the Board of Trustees, Brian Chapman and Eddie Webb, who are supporting us so great in their work to further Edison College, Edison State College. I also want to ask my new boss and his wife to stand up, Dr. Jeff Albritton and his wife Liz. Welcome to Charlotte County. We hope to see you again. At any rate, I hope you have a wonderful time. It's going to be an amazing evening. 
You know, I got to tell you, my Beatles experience started at 10 years old. I went to the Tampa Theater to watch A Hard Day's Night, cried, stayed and watched it five times, and I never quit loving the Beatles. I don't know about you, but all their love songs, I knew they wrote for me, and they were singing them to me. I just got to tell you, when my sons were born, you can imagine I'm a fairly non-traditional mother. I sang Beatles songs instead of lullabies, and so they knew those from day one. And I know there are many of you that have those same stories. But thank you again for everything you do for our campus. We love you, we appreciate you, and we hope you have a wonderful evening. Thanks. Thank you, Dr. Land. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise for the presentation of the colors and our national 